Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading with another colorful spring Easter project. Now I will show you really easy step by step how to make these beautiful earrings and I'm sure by the end of this video you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. I'm using really simple stuff, 80 beads, 11 seed beads and I must specify monofilament for this project because I want my earrings to stay nice and tight and not too soft. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 80 beads, one color of 11 seed beads. Here I use ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to take six red beads. Okay guys, I have my six here and I'm going to slide them down. Okay, I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. Okay. And I'm making my knot, my making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. Then I will make one more knot like this. Pull again. So now this is what I have. And then what I do is that I go here through some beads in this direction. And now I'm going to take one silver bead and I will go through the opposite bead. This is where my thread is uh, going out of and I'm counting one, two beads. I'm going through the third one here and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay. Then I pull. And you see guys, this is what I have. I have something like a flower here, okay? Then I will go here in this red bead and I'm pulling. And now guys, I want to take five red beads. Okay, this time I'm taking five and the last time I took six. This is because I'm going out of this red one and I will go back in circle through it and now you see I have again six beads. In every element I have six beads but my elements share beads, okay? And this is my second flower element and I will go around reinforcing it like this, okay? I'm going here through all of my beads in this direction like that, pulling, then I will go through these two beads as well, okay. Now I'm exiting here out of this red bead and I want to take just one silver bead and I will count one, two and go through the third bead, which is the opposite one and I'm going to pull in this direction. And when I pull, I have this. Okay guys, and now I want to go through these two ato beads like this. Okay, and I'm going out of this red bead and now I'm in a position to start my next flower. And for my next flower, what I need are five ato beads. I want five. And when I go through this one, there are six. In this element, there are also six bits, okay? Then I'm going to reinforce my work 
like that. Going here, then going around, and I want to exit through these two beads as well. And here I'm in a position to add my silver bead. Okay, and I'm going here through my opposite red bead in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Then I'm going through these two beads. And here what I want to do are, guess what? Five red beads, okay? Going back here through this one, pulling. Just like this. And I will go around in circle through all of my beads. And then through those two. Take just one silver and go here like this. Through the opposite one. Then through those two red beads. Okay. Okay guys, now this is what I have and I will continue making more and more elements and when I have 16 elements I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Hey okay guys, and when I continue beading making those flower elements of camera, this is what I have. I have here 16 elements and now I want to connect them in a circle, okay? I want to connect my first and my last one. And in order to do this, I will take two seed beads. And as I'm exiting from this red bead, I will go through this one. Okay. Here in this step, I'm going to add four beads. But I'm still going through six beads. Okay. This one is from my last bead, from my last flower. Then I'm adding two here. This is from my first flower. And I'm adding two more and one, two, three, four and two more six beads. And I'm going around in circle through all of them. Okay. And when I pull, I have another element. Don't worry if at first this doesn't look like a nice, a nice circle. We'll fix it later. Okay, and now the important thing is to go around this circle here. Okay, you could do even two times. I'm just reinforcing my work. Okay. Now I'm exiting through this bead and what I have to do is take just one silver bead and go through the opposite bead and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay, now I have this and my flowers are connected. Okay, now I'm here in my inner circle and I want to connect all of my beads in my inner circle. And I will go through as many beads as I can in one movement. Okay. Now I'm going through those beads. Like that. And pulling. Then I will go around through all of the other beads in this inner circle. Okay. Like that, I'm going through all of my beads, pulling. Now this is what I have. I have a beautiful circle of beads here. And you could go several times reinforcing this inner circle to make it look better. And then in my next step, I want to go here in my 
outside edge like this and I will go through this red bead here and above this silver bead I'm going to take three three silver beads and go here through this red and if you can in one moment go through the following red as well okay when I pull I have this now I'm exiting from the next silver here I'm not adding anything but here this step I want to add three beads and go through the next two red beads okay and pull tight then what I need to add are three more seed beads and go through the following two beads okay here between my flowers I don't add anything and here on top of my silver I add three silver seed beads okay I'm taking this skipping these two beads without adding anything okay and I'm going to continue this the same way and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row it's all the same nothing complicated nothing difficult now I'm exiting out of this red bead and what I want to do is go here in my silver seed bead Okay, and I'm exiting here at the edge like this. Now I'm going to take my ear wire, take one silver, go through my ear wire, slide it down, then take one more silver, okay, and I will go back through this one like this now you see what I have and pay attention how I'm putting my ear wire because this is my the front side of my earrings and this is the back side where my beads are popping up is the front side that is why I'm pu putting my ear wire like this okay and I will go reinforce this ear wire okay do this as many times as you can okay and now i'm going here through these beads and i want to make a knot and i'm making my knot by making here a loop like this and then i'm going once and i'm going second time through the loop i've made and i'm pulling okay then what I do is that I go here through some beads in this direction. I might want to repeat this step of making uh, knots several more times. And then when I'm ready, I'm going here at the back of my work. And I'm going to cut my thread. Okay. And now guys, this is what I have. Okay guys, and now my lacy Easter earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if my beautiful jewelry is following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.